Hello, my name is Andrei Osachuk. I help companies to get value from their investments in Adobe Analytics. I am an Adobe certified expert with nine years experience and provide consulting implementation, data analysis and training services. In this video, I would like to talk about a few examples of good and bad page names. I continue my audit of Metro.de and let's have a look at what page names they have on their website. I will start with the home page. The page name uh, seems to consist of three components. The first component stands for either domain or localization. I think this is domain or country. And the second component is ACWS. I'm not sure what it is. The third component is the page name itself. Uh, very good. So the page naming convention exists. And now let's check uh, what page names are set for the other pages on the website. I will go to sortiment and now we can see that the second component has changed to D underscore products and then the third component represents the page name. Uh, what I would say about the second component is that probably d underscore prefix is not needed since we are on the German version and this doesn't add any value so we already know that we are on the German version and we are looking through the product catalog. Now let's go deeper and I will click on flash and worst and now we see that again the page name and convention exists but there is a small problem that the ampersand character is replaced with HTML entity which is not good so just remember that you shouldn't encode any values that you send to Adobe Analytics because in this case what we can see on metro.de is this is exactly what the managers and analysts will see in the report so this doesn't look good. Now let's check whether they encode umlauts because it's also not necessary. Um, yeah, that's good. So umlauts um, are not encoded. This is good. And uh, let's check some more. Good. So in general, I would say that the page naming convention for this section of the website is very good. It's uh, the page names are short, they are clear, and just uh, ampersand character is replaced, which is not good. But again, this is probably not about the page naming convention, but about how the values are uh, set in the data layer or how they are captured. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at some other sections. I will go to, let's go to probably on the bottom. And Metro Verbung. So probably uh, the only thing that I would recommend here to change is uh, the name of the page doesn't match the hierarchy, the site hierarchy. So instead of Metro Verbung, I would set the page name to Angebote. Now let's go deeper. Oh, here we have two server calls. I think I will need to record another video about that. But as for the page names, uh, in this case, that's good. So now I understand that we are looking at Aktuale Angebote. And the second server call, mm, so again, it sets, well, let's say, the second page name. And in this case, this looks like a section weekly ads. And this is the home page within that section. Okay, this is not probably very good because in this case it seems that there are uh, two page names recorded 
while the visitor just consumed a single page. And one page is reported twice with different page names. And this is not a good practice. Uh, I will record another video about that. But now let's take a look at one of the products. We can see another server call. And in this case, this uh, overlay or window is called product detail. I think this stands for product detail page. Okay, that's good. Um, now let's go to, let's take a look at register page. Okay, so here you can see one of the examples when the naming convention is not followed. And as you remember, on the previous pages we had the first component that was DE, then column, then something else like uh, you know, section or key section of the website and then the page name. Here we can see just the page name and probably we, call, we can also say that you know, the first word stands for uh, section like sign up section and then uh, the step within that section. The first step is about entering the card number. And at the same time, it's also strange to see such names because uh, you can see that different words are merged together and there is no white space in between. So web account rec, or it would be better say web registration or probably following the title on this page, my metro registry room. So, in general, this is a bad example that the page naming convention uh, is not following the rules of the other probably keys uh, pages on the website. Finally, let's take a look at the block. I will go to the block section. And, okay, we can see again that the page naming convention exists here. That's good. Let's check one of the articles. And again, <laughs> something is broken. I presume this is likely a technical problem. You can see that at the end of the value we see a column character and then nothing. And logically there should be the article name, but it's missing. So it's a, it's a problem. And let me get back and I will also see how they track tags. So for example, I want to look at all the articles about food trends. Okay, we can see that this page is tracked as Zucher Gebnesen, like search, but there is no any value that stands for the tag that I have chosen. This is also not good because, for example, for content editors, it would be helpful to know which articles are requested more often or less often. For example, in this case, if uh, they knew that food trends probably one of the key tags in their blog, they would pay more attention to the articles about food trends or vice versa if they knew that for example, gastronomy um, is not interesting for their visitors. They would probably not write articles about that uh, theme. Okay, so the summary. Um, it's very good that the page naming convention exists, but probably it's not uh, obvious in some cases what um, section names are set. So they do not match the site hierarchy or let's say top navigation. In some cases there are technical problems like on the article pages in the blog. In some cases it's not clear uh, what the page is because in this case, for example, like we see on the screen, uh, doesn't matter what tag I choose, the page will be absolutely the same in the reporting. This doesn't 
bring a lot of value to the analysts. And this is it. I hope this short audit was interesting for you. Like this video, add your comments, click on the bell icon to not miss any new uploads to my channel. And thank you for watching.